it's two shay thomas i'm back at it with another video and i've had several requests of people asking me yo i play my keys and i want a pitch band but i'm not trying to be a computer programmer in fl studio how do i do this easily because they want to do this So, I checked out many videos, reputable people, people way more followers than me on YouTube, but it was all programming. And I like the easy way too. You don't want to mess up the flow of an artist who may be feeling what you're doing and mess up the vibe. So it's all about, let's just get it down and knock it down. So here's the easiest way. It's going to trip you out just a little bit. But anyway, here we go. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Here we go with another tutorial about how to pitch bend. So there are many different ways that you can do it. Many reputable people, like I said in the beginning, you can look up War Beats, Busy Work Beats, um, Justin and Moe, but they all kind of show you the same thing and not the one thing that just makes it easy for you to just pick them and go. For those who just like to play and do their notes and not have to sit there with a mouse, this is how I did it. So I upload an instance of a sound font. It's called Cam's Flute. It's not that beautiful sounding, you see? It's not all that. But one thing that you will notice is that the pitch right here will not move when I use it on my keyboard. So all the notes sound the same. Like one of the people who did ask me, how do you pitch bend without me having to go through all the settings? I just want to play and record it. So I just looked up videos. Of course, I already knew. I didn't find a video. So this is what it is. Be prepared. Literally go here right click you see where it says link to controller click link to controller and there you can control now it's starting to uh, do the pitch but you you could see that it's not um, pitching enough let's say you want a little more all right let's say you want a little more of that That's what you want to do, right? You want to do something like that. That's what you need to do right there. And then with here, you can control the range. And you see, that's just too much. <laughs> so you can bring it back down, whatever fits or works for you. There you go. That is how you do that, okay? It's just that easy. Just try it. Go to pitch, right click, link to controller, move your pitch bend wheel on your MIDI controller and boom, it'll notice it. And then go here, change the range to how fast you want it. And then there you go. That's it. That's really it. So now you can do what you want. All right, so if you enjoyed that video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Gave you the most easiest way you can figure out a pitch band. So then you can be on your way to do this. Anyway, any of the links to anything that I use as far as my gear or plugins or whatever is down in the video description. So just give me a thumbs up, comment. I do reply if you've seen past videos. My comments are now getting a little longer. I'm replying to people as best as I can and as fast as I can and the best answer that I can give you. If you want to check out any other music, uh, social media links, all that stuff down below. My music that I put together, you can check here. Okay, that's where you check it out. I got a whole full instrumental album you can listen to and some singles of some tracks that I just put out there just to, you know, some feelers. So with that being said, um, you guys take care. I appreciate you all you guys commenting, sharing, liking the video. I appreciate that. So you guys take care and stay Gucci. Peace. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong.